So a little while back, I posted this on Instagram. It was just a photo of some bacon fried potatoes that I make. And I had a bunch of messages from people saying, how do you make that? What is that? How do you make that? So today I'm gonna to show you the very, very simple steps to making delicious bacon fried potatoes. So other than seasonings here, there are really only two main ingredients. Hold on, wait one second. I'm really doing a video showing how to fry potatoes in bacon? Isn't that just so simple that everyone knows how to do it and you don't need a video? Maybe for most people. But one thing I've learned in the past few years, especially making videos, is something that might be simple for me or for you may not be simple for everyone. I know people personally who like to see every step in the process of making something, even if it's very simple. They can see a recipe that says, fry the bacon, fry the potatoes. They want to see it done. It makes them comfortable. And so this type of video is for those people and anyone else who just wants to see some good food made. Because even the simplest dishes may seem complicated to some people. And I want to try and show people that anyone can make just about anything. All right, let's get back to the video and let this guy make these bacon potatoes. So other than seasonings here, there are really only two main ingredients, potatoes and bacon. And we're gonna get the potatoes ready first. Now I've got five white potatoes here. These aren't Yukon Golds, they're just a white potato. I'm not even sure what variety they are. Now you could use russet potatoes or red potatoes, but I prefer russets if you can't get something like this, like these whites. The Yukon Golds to me tend to be a little bit more fragile. They fall apart a little more easily once they start cooking. I like these because they hold together a little better. We're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna peel these. Now you don't have to peel these. You could leave the skins on. And honestly, most of the time I would leave the skins on, but in this dish, I do like to take the skins off. And you'll notice I'm using several different sizes of potatoes here. That's fine, because we're gonna cut them into slices. So I have my potatoes peeled here, and we're just gonna go ahead and slice these up. And I want these somewhere about, I don't know, not quite a quarter inch. 3 sixteenths, is that close enough? Not too thin, not too thick. By keeping them about the same thickness, they're gonna cook in about the same amount of time, but if a couple are a little smaller, don't worry about it. All right, these are ready. Let's get our bacon ready so we can get them into the pan. So I have four pieces of hickory smoked bacon here. You can use any kind of bacon you want, but I like them to be a little thicker. So like this, this is about a good size. First, I just want to cut this in half. And then I want to cut these down the middle, lengthwise. It's going to make them easier to cut into our smaller pieces. Now we're just gonna chop these into smaller pieces. We're not going for a dice, just going for smaller pieces. There we go. Let's head over to the stove. All right, I have my high-sided skillet over a medium flame here. We're gonna go ahead and get our bacon going. We're not trying to cook this all the way and crisp it up right here. We just wanna start getting that fat rendering out of it because that's gonna help our potatoes cook. And as you know, if you've watched my channel for any amount of time, I like my bacon AFS, acceptable floppy state. This isn't necessarily gonna be AFS. It's gonna cook a little more. It's probably gonna crisp up as the potatoes are in there too. And that's fine. That's perfect for this sort of dish. We're gonna let this go till we just start to see some color on the bacon. Like I said, not cooking it all the way, just getting it started here so it's ready for those potato slices. Is there anything that sounds and smells better than bacon when it's cooking? All right, just starting to see some color on here. We're gonna go ahead and get our potatoes in. I'm gonna hit these with a little bit of salt and pepper. Right now I'm gonna turn the heat down to about medium low and I'm gonna put a lid on this pan. And we're gonna let that go for a few minutes, let that bacon continue to cook and let those potatoes begin to soften. 
then we're gonna give everything a stir. All right, we've been going about four minutes covered here. Let's go ahead and give these potatoes a stir. What we're doing here is we're getting more of those potatoes down to the bottom where they're gonna to start to get some color. That bacon's gonna to continue to cook, give its flavor to the potatoes. And every couple minutes, we're gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna put the lid back on, and we'll stir these in a couple minutes. All right, we've been going a couple minutes here. Let's give them another stir, check the color, see how it's developing. And this is where you can switch to tongs and start working some of those potatoes down into the bottom, get good color on them. And the lid goes back on, and we're gonna repeat that process over and over. I'll bring you back here when they're just about done. All right, I've been turning these about every couple minutes. Like I said, we've been going about 12 minutes now total with the potatoes. Let's go have a look and let's see how tender they are. Nice color developing on a lot of these. And every potato doesn't have to have that super crispy golden brown look, but every potato needs to be tender. Let's see our slices here with just a knife poke. We are almost there. I'm gonna say probably four more minutes. So I'm gonna cover these back up, let them go for another two minutes, I'll turn them around again, and then another two minutes, and I think we're gonna be done then. All right, we've been going about 16 minutes now. Let's do a check, I'm pretty sure they're done. Looking good. Oh yeah, those are feeling tender. I don't want them to get mushy, I want them to be tender. And they're gonna continue to tenderize for a couple minutes here after we turn this off. So these bacon fried potatoes are ready, let's plate them up. Now this is a great breakfast dish, it's a great side dish, it's a great main dish if all you have is bacon and potatoes. And I mean, come on, if you're putting two things together to be satisfying, bacon and potatoes are pretty hard to beat. Building like a little potato pyramid here. Now I do have a bunch of the bacon pieces set aside from the pan. We'll be sprinkling those on top, but we're also going to be sprinkling something else. In just a minute here. I do not see many AFS pieces of bacon here today. I can say that. So we'll be sprinkling some more bacon on top here in a minute. But first, I just want to give a pinch of some smoked paprika on top of these potatoes. Bring such a nice smokiness and a little more salt. Now for some of our really crispy bacon pieces. Get back in there. And there we go, bacon fried potatoes. One of the simplest dishes that I make. As you saw, two ingredients. Only takes 20 minutes or so to make, including prep. I've worked up an appetite for this, so it's time to taste. So I'm going for a nice crispy piece with some bacon first. Here we go. Mm. That is so nice cooking those potatoes in the bacon grease, which is not something new. I know people do that all the time. It just adds a creaminess to them. They're soft, they absorb that fat. So yeah, it's not a low cal, low fat dish, but it sure tastes great. And you don't have to add that smoked paprika at the end. In fact, you can add any flavors you want here, any sort of seasonings, that's what's nice about this dish. I just like that extra little hint of smokiness in this. Mm. And even though I prefer my bacon to be AFS, acceptable floppy state, not as crispy as this, in this dish, the crispy bacon, that really extra crispy bacon, is terrific. So two main ingredients, some seasonings, a pan, that's really all you need to make bacon fried potatoes. You don't have to add any butter, any oil, anything extra, just this. And it really is one of those satisfying dishes that no one even thinks about the simplicity of it when they're tasting it because it is just so darn good.